Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have 812, not gonna get caught slipping, versus Chain Order, and this is a post pod match, and let's go ahead and hop right in. So, we're gonna see Chain Order win the Rock, Paper, Scissors, Shoot, and then they will decide to go first 41 versus 40. Opening hands, we have DD Crow, Starter, Jet, Foxy Tune, E Telly, they have Dark Ruler, Huffiness, which is a hand trap, Squamata. Rhino Heart and Field Spell. Also, I hate that this card's name is Starter. Because, like, it's just like, oh, they drew a starter. <laughs> but they're going to go ahead and activate the Field Spell now. Go search Shaylin. And then activate the Shaylin effect. And they said it's good. They said Shuffle means K. Yep, okay, fair enough. So they're going to get rid of Rhino Heart. Special Summon Out. Mill 3 now. Okay, so they're playing the Branded cards. They're playing the King of the Swamp. Now, uh, they can go ahead and activate the Rhino Heart effect. Um, chain DD Crow on Rhino Heart and then pass. Yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of tough. I'm not going to lie. But they're going to pass. They draw Smashers. Then go Main Phase, activate e Telly. But, you know, I, they, they could still, like, Puffins. Just go ahead, hit a Tier Element. Probably wouldn't be because they have Smashers. Uh, they're going to Z-Almond effect. Pay 600 in response. Chain. So special summon out. Mill 3. They said think in response. Okay, let that go. Oh, they milled 3 bad cards. Yeah, they just have a defeat. Alright, so. Well, that's game 1. So going on to the next game now. We're going to see Tier Element go first again. Opening hands. We got DD Crow. Blue. Prosperity. Red. Swap. Frog. They have Foolish, Miru, Opening, Talents, and Rhino Heart. So they're going to go Main Phase Activate Opening because they have Talents. Get rid of Rhino Heart. Go ahead, Special Summon out Alibur. And then Alibur 1, Rhino 2. And then they're thinking if they want to DD Crow Rhino. Yeah, Rhino do be very good because, you know, if they summon this by discarding a Tier Element Monster, they get... A lot of stuff out of that so like you you kind of want to shut that down but alibur and the branded fusion now talents look at hand they're gonna hit the prosperity foolish burial a squamata squamata dump beast beast draw king king go search poly activate branded fusion we're gonna dump the fallen of albaz and a shaylin and then bring out lubelion and now we're going to activate Shaylin and Lubelion. So put back to summon Mirror Jade. And then Shaylin put back. And then they said think. Okay, they're going to go ahead, put back, bring out Kit. And then Kit effect to go search. It's going to go search Rhino Heart. Also, I don't think I brought this up in the last video. But I was playing like remote duels yesterday or today at the time of this recording. Saturday, but you're watching this Sunday. Saturday. My very last match was the finals of a speed duel tourney. Oh, this guy was wild, bro. Wild. So he ended up, I'll, I'll explain the interaction. He goes, activate Mind Crush, call Breaker. And then he goes, chain another Mind Crush, call Zoma. So I end up discarding two Zoma. I don't have Breaker. So then he has to discard the card in his hand. And what ends up happening is I pass, you know, I, I go, I'm about to draw for turn. He goes, hey, when you draw for turn, could you like uh, not hand shuffle so I know what you drew and that it's not a breaker? And it's like, what? <laughs> so you want to know like my new cards compared to my old card. You're, you're literally telling me to not shuffle my hand. I was like, bro, I'm not doing that. <laughs> like straight up honest with you, bro, I'm not doing it. He goes, that's the only way we know that you're not cheating. I was like, call a judge, bro, do it. Like, I don't care because I'm not giving you free advantage. For you thinking that I'm a cheater when I'm not a cheater, I'd literally discard two Zoma off the first Minecraft. If I wanted to cheat you, bro, I would have cheated you. But I, I don't do that. I don't do that. Um, Yeah, and I, and then call judge. The judge is like, yeah, he, the judge is like, yeah, there's no rule against uh, not drawing for turn, hand shuffling. And the opponent's like, that's the only way we can do this. And I'm like, hey, bro, I'm shuffling my hand. Like, I'm going to be honest. There's no rule against it. So I'm doing it. <laughs> and... I, I drew for turn. I was like, oh, it could be Breaker. Oh, is it Breaker? I don't know. I was just messing with him because I knew I was about to win. If I didn't misplay game two, I would have 3-0'd him. And I also only play in tournaments. So, like, ah, you're free. You're free. You're free. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, sir. Hold on.
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, man, I don't know if we're on misplay or not now. Hold on. Okay. Had to check. <laughs> uh, they're going to summon kit. And then kit effect now to... Wait. Did we just... We didn't... We just searched Rhino Heart there, right? Yeah, okay, okay. Just just making sure. And then other effect. Get rid of itself to summon out Rhino Heart. And then we're going to get kit effect and Rhino Heart. So we're going to go ahead and dump Miru. And then mill five. We hit Reaper there. Another Miru. So now we can get a Miru effect. Put back Miru. Put back Beast. Bring out Winda. Activate Polly. Go in the Masquerade. What was this? Like, oh my gosh. I don't, like... Uh, if this is what your deck is ending on, like, I mean, yeah, this is it's not bad, but, like, you just lose the Dark Ruler. If you want to play a deck that just, like, loses the Dark Ruler, you may as well be going for a better end board. I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, Tier Element Trap could have been used at some point, I feel like. Uh, this, this build is very weird. Playing, like... The branded cards with like heavy Shadal. When I say heavy Shadal, I mean more than one Shadal. And like King of the Swamps for Polly and everything. I don't know. It's not bad. Like if you open up Polly plus two tier elements, like it's, it's not horrible, but how? Oh, water, my bad. Oh yeah, you couldn't even make that. This is a water and that's an Alibur. That's true. Th this is the only water out of all the tier elements, by the way. The rest of them are dark doesn't really come up but it can especially because some people are playing dweller in this deck and dweller gains 500 attack if this is under it so that's something that can come up um i knew that i messed it up <laughs> so uh yep they're gonna pass they draw rodent totem normal summon rodent totem special summon out red end phase mirror jade effect banish effect go search branded fusion and yeah it's kind of it's kind of game here um yeah, we're going to see 812 admit defeat there. And moving on to game three, we're going to see Splite go first. Opening hands, we have Swap Frog, Starter, E Telly, Gamma Red. This is nice. This is nice, nice. They have Fallen of Albash, Shaylin, Polly, Branded Fusion, and Lava Golem. So they're going to activate E Telly. E Telly go summon out from deck. Bring out Z Amin. And then Z Amin effect. Pay 600. Go search for Foxy Tune. Very good. Foxy Tune effect. Discard itself, get rid of Gamma, bring out Deer Note. Uh, just like one e Telly by itself is three negates if you want it to be. Uh, they're going to go ahead and go for Pobega Ruler. Pobega Ruler 1, Deer Note 2, bring out Z Amon. Off Deer Note, Mill 5. We don't hit any Splite there. We don't hit any Dark Monster. We don't hit DD Crow. We don't hit Splites. Well, not any Splites, you know. The, the main Splites. We didn't hit any of those. Now we're going to go in the Hulk. Hulk Effect. Summon out Gamma. Then normal summon Swap Frog. Swap Frog effect to go dump. It's going to dump Ronin Toten. And then afterwards, bring out Ronin Toten by banishing the swap that we had milled. Go for IP. Now turn those into an Elf. Summon back out Ruler by banishing IP. Make Fluor. Elf effect. Bring back out Swap. Swap Frog effect to go dump. Uh, just go ahead, dump swap. They play dupe frog. You'd also just dump swap here, because then you get to bring back dupe frog. Oh, and they be put in standby phase. And that's obviously better than bringing out a swap. Summon red. Activate starter. Bring out blue. Lose life points. Blue effect. Go search jet. Special summon out jet. Jet effect. Go search. Go search starter. Doesn't search smashers there. Wants more follow up, I guess. Now the Jin X Y Z cut hurts. Yeah, they're going to overlay, go for Gigantic, Gigantic effect. It's like a, I don't think this is like that bad though, right? You get attached, go summon out Carrot, set starter. That could have been Smashers. And then pass turn, draw Aluber. So they're going to go main phase, Dark Ruler. Nah, didn't draw. Special summon out Lava Golem over Elf and Toad. Toad effect to add back Deep Sea Diva. And then Shaylin effect. That goes through. So get rid of Alibur. Summon out Shaylin. Mill 3. They mill Shaylin. Huffins. Reaper. Huffins effect. Shaylin effect. And then said, ah, two of them. <laughs> so 
We're going to go ahead, put back Shaylin, and then put back Aluber, bring out Masquerade. Yep, checks out. Put those back. Think, wait, take 11 from starter. Yep. Like, we've gone over that, but what am I going to do? Keep saying it, because like, a lot of people are just forgetting it right now. Uh, probably a lot will mess up starter in the beginning. Yep. <laughs> uh, go for Kip. And then don't want to give mill five, but don't want to give special. So they're going to go red effect to stop that. And they could have red tributed carrot to not destroy it if you wanted to. Um, but now they get the mill five. They also uh, have to pay life points for activating stuff because masquerade. But now they mill five, they mill Rhino Heart and Huffins, but Huffins was just used two seconds ago, right? Just to make sure, yes, it was Huffins and Shaylin. Rhino Heart doesn't do anything because they don't have a tier element in hand. Now, activate Polly, chain carrot to negate. And then, yeah, they just go ahead and emit the feet there. Because they have flu on board, you activate Branded Fusion, they negate. You lose, you know that they have follow up. I think they may also be playing too many normals potentially. I'm gonna assume they're playing three Rhino Heart because they milled two there. Then they play Aluber, play Field Spell. I guess Field Spell is also Extender, not just Starter. Mm, could could be fine, but then like may, maybe you start cutting the normal summons down a little bit when you start siding in Sphere Mode, Lava Golem, just because. You know, they obviously don't work well together. Also, I'm pretty sure we had it on the channel the other day where someone summoned Sphere Mode and put it in defense, but it has to be normal summons. Like, it has to be an attack. Should bring that up. Uh, usually doesn't matter because, like, you know, this can't be targeted for attacks or anything, but definitely a good thing to know. You don't want people to cheat you. Little interactions can go a long way. My hand has to be nice to break that. I mean, you lava golemed, and then it was it was red carrot fluor, which is still pretty good, still pretty good. But yeah, we're gonna end up seeing Splite win, seeing how long the match was. It was about 29 minutes long, and with all that being said, DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.